Hi friends, welcome back to GWT authentication tutorial. So last we have installed the Laravel application and this is running and we have configured this database. Okay, so now we need to install GWT packages and we need to configure this into our application. So just go to the Google and search JWT authentication docs. Okay, so let's use the JWT authentication docs. So here is the JWT authentication docs. So just go here and here you can see the laravel installation process so to install jwt via composer so just copy this composer require time on jwt auth and just paste this so it will install jwt authentication so installation failed so installation failed and reverting composer json so what is the problem so let's search this well the pc version 8.0 and someone saying the package doesn't support php 8 point now okay so my pc version is 8 so let's use the ignore platform requirements so just copy this and just try to install again and just enter this so i think it will download okay so let's work in this so all are set now the next steps we need to configure into our providers so just go here and here is my provider and just copy this into the config app.php so just go into the config app.php and here is the providers so just go into the provider section so this is the provider array so let's add this provider's name and also let's add the aliases so here i want to add some aliases so here my aliases name jwt auth right and here just use daemon jwt auth and here just write facets and then jwt auth so here is the name jwt auth and class and in the same way i want to use the jwt factory so just copy this and change the class name sorry the ls name jwt factory and let's use the jwt factory also here okay so all are done and now let's publish this so just use this and just go to the terminal and let's publish so publishing is complete so if you just want to create a token that is if you want to create the jw token you can create a token using this so write php artisan jwt secret okay so the secret key is generated and it set it into the dot env file so if you just go inside the dot env file and just scroll down so here you can see the jwt secret key okay so it's generated and also it's set it into the environment section so next we need to set up the user model and need to configure the auth guard okay so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day